really good. Um, was it worth it? You'll be doing things you don't like doing in order to go on living, that is to go on doing things you don't like doing, which is stupid. Hello, welcome back to the channel. I am back with an exciting video today. We are um, going to McDonald's for the first time after doing the keto diet for the last month. Um, if you've already seen my keto video, then you'll know. If you don't know, then I'll link it down below. So I thought I'd take you along for the journey, see if we're sick or anything, see if it gives us a dodgy stomach, because we've been eating no carbs for the last month. We will see. You can see the little M in the back. We're in the drive through. Hi. My name's Liam, nice to meet you. I'm going to be the designated mm. orderer today. Shit. <laughs> I'd like to take a lot of these. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, can I get two spicy vegetable um, wraps, please? Meals. Yeah, what drinks would you like, um, Can I have them with Diet Coke, please? And large. Large? Yeah. Can I, can, can I also get an extra large fries as well, please? Anything else? Um, and two apple pies. Yeah, I've got everything for you today. Yeah, that's it, thank you. I'm going to do um, a keto Q&A, so if anybody has any questions of what it was like, etc, then please let me know in the little box. Oh my god, I'm literally just editing this now, watching Liam back. I didn't know he was doing that, he's such a <laughs> boy, it's actually really funny, etc. I'm going to do um, a keto Q&A, so if anybody has any questions of what it was like, etc, then please let me know in the Box. Etc. Etc. Box. God, it's so annoying. Shut up, him again. So if anybody has any, what do we have keto Q and A? Hopefully, people will ask some questions. Oh, for this video? Yeah. It's a bit of a mishmash. Isn't it? It's a Reviews. bit of a mash now because you know what I'm <coughs> thinking. Reviews I'm gonna call this. this video um, my first meal. Yeah. Can I get some barbecue sauce please and can I also get some ketchup? Oh, there's too much because I want a curry and sweet and sour. That's what I have to deal with. I'll just get a curry then. So curry, ketchup and barbecue. Yeah please. Unless you want me to just use the ketchup at home. I mean, I don't care, it's, it's your choice. Right, okay, I'll use the ketchup at home and then get curry, barbecue and sweet sour. Okay. Okay, so. Sorry if it's a bit wonks. Um, so the sauces that I've got, that I've gone for today, are ketchup, barbecue and sweet curry, which are all vegan. Um, obviously not keto. Don't know what my body's gonna be like tomorrow. That's for sure. I went for a Diet Coke. Oh, oh my God, these are paper. That's good. McDonald's have changed to paper straws. <coughs> oh, has anyone seen that? That ridiculous like post. I think it's like a a protest for McDonald's to um. Go back to plastic straws. Are you stupid? Anybody who signed that is an absolute fool. And you are really selfish. If you don't know what's going on in the world, we are ruining our planet. So the least McDonald's can do is change all the straws to paper instead of plastic. So they can be recycled. Okay, so this is the... Ve spicy veggie wrap. I think that's what it's called. I'm gonna put some barbecue sauce on it. Yum. Oh shit. Honestly, I'm not gonna lie, I've been dreaming about this. The good thing is about keto, once you actually start doing it, 
because you have so much fat, you don't have a, you don't, like it gets rid of the fat gets rid of your cravings. I know that sounds ridiculous, but trust me, it actually does. But you still, obviously, you still miss like McDonald's and vegan sausage rolls from Greg's, and you know. So anyway, I'm gonna take my first bite. Mmm. Mmm. That is good. Mmm. Why am I still got my coat on? Okay. I'm gonna see if I've got any questions. Okay, first question. What kind of things did you did you eat on keto? Were you being vegan? What kind of things? Okay, so first of all, when we first started it, like the first week we was really trying to get to grips with what we could eat and what we couldn't eat. So, we mainly ate, like, um, vegan meat substitutes. Um, like, what did we first start eating? We we later on found out that oomph was really, like, low in carb. But we didn't realise that until, like, the second or third week. So, I think we started off just having, like, the Vivera chicken pieces. Um, and then having those with like avocado and then some salad um, or having it with like broccoli or cauliflower and then we started like really researching researching a lot more because you obviously quickly get bored of having the same thing every single day so we found a really good recipe for um, cauliflower mash which Oh my god, cauliflower mash is just on another level. Cauliflower rice is one thing. Cauliflower mash is hands down so nice. If you do it like properly in a blender, so creamy, so smooth. And we also started getting like sugar cravings, like this, I think it was like the second week, so we really wanted to find some sweet recipes. So Liam found like a really good cake recipe. Um like a mug cake cake recipe and that tasted amazing. It tasted like it had carbs in. It had like two or three grams of carbs per cake. Uh, the only one thing negative I would say is it's a lot of prep. So if you are thinking about doing it, it's a lot of like prep. But then any food, any like healthy eating, I suppose you have to do a lot of prep anyway. Next question. With you being vegan, what fats? What fats um, did you consume? Um, probably similar to the meat version. Although, I think meat has quite a lot of fat in anyway. So, obviously we didn't have meat. We'd have avocado. We'd have coconut oil instead of butter. Um, we'd have like soy cream instead. Um, butter, like vegan butter. Olive oil, we do things in olive oil like salads and nuts, but again, you have to measure nuts because you have a lot of nuts, and obviously, that's a lot of carbs. But what, what are the main ingredients one would need? Well, I would say our staples in the cupboard. With coconut oil, avocado, coffee for bulletproof coffee, mm. and like a meat replacement, and then cauliflower and broccoli are probably the staple vegetables. How much weight did you lose? I went into this into in the actual keto video, but I think I was 11 stone 8, 11 stone 8 or 9, and then I would drop down to like 11 stone, so like 8 or 9 pounds within a month. I found this ridiculous that I'm eating a McDonald's while I was doing a keto to this Q&A, but... Thing is, I'm actually going to go back on to ketosis. 
maybe not ketosis, but I definitely want to do like a low carb diet because I feel like there's a lot of benefits um, from the ketosis diet. But I just didn't like how restrictive it was. What were the main reasons you started the ketosis diet? Okay. The main reason for me was because of my endometriosis. Um, because I've looked into like different ways of trying to help um, uh, help yourself if you've got endometriosis and diet always comes up. So I've looked into different diets. I've tried different diets. One thing that constantly comes up is like heavy carbs like bread and pasta are really bad for like inflammation and obviously your body's already inflamed you don't want to add to that um so keto was like a natural step from other diets that i'd tried for my endometriosis ah the apple pie now i've heard that the apple pies in other countries aren't vegan but in the uk they are vegan mm. Oh my god. Mmm. That's good. Mmm. <clears throat> that was good. That was really good. Um, was it worth it? I want to say that apple pie was worth it. But for how I'm going to be feeling now and tomorrow, I don't know. I feel very full now. And I've got a feeling that I've not been feeling for the last four weeks. <laughs> so I'm going to say no. It's probably not worth it. Anyway. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Bye.